بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم ما بعد حبت في الله continue on uh, in our reading of this treatise <coughs> the sheikh mentioned the foundational principle and refutation da'wah calling to Allah and clarify, clarification softness and gentleness using hikmah and leaving off harshness and violence that's very important in that in that title habit of Allah showing us the importance that this is the asl this is the foundation doesn't mean that there's in a time for being stern in commanding the good and forbidding the evil and sometimes refuting someone uh, with with some shedda we're not saying that no the prophet sallallahu was at time lean when it's a, at a time more stern so that's from the sunnah However, it's having the hikmah of knowing when to use which and knowing that the asl, the asl from we, from the book of Allah and the son of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, is gentleness. That's the origin. The Shaykh said, Rahimallah Ta'ala, uh, the Shaykh used to see that the foundation principle in calling to Allah begins with softness and the easiest path, specifically when ignorance is prevalent. Desires have taken over and advice has decreased, meaning no one's advising and there's a lot of ignorance and there is uh, a lack of knowledge. So look at that. That's what we see, especially in the West. You have that all over the Muslim world. So what about in the West where Islam is new? The people are coming to the religion new. Uh, the people who were born even in the religion are ignorant. So due to this ignorance, Shouldn't there be even more need to be gentle with the people? Instead of quickly making hajar of the people, quickly attacking the people, quickly, why did you go to this masjid? Why did you go to the ma that masjid? Do we really need that fitna? Is that really in accordance with the deen of Allah? Ask yourself that. So the Shaykh said, This is what Allah commanded his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa with, as he said to Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, commanding to soften his speech with the greatest disbeliever of creation as we mentioned Fir'aun the one that claimed lordship Allah Ta'ala said and speak to him with gentle speech that perhaps he may be reminded or fear Allah Allahu Akbar Subhanallah Habitifillah when I mentioned at the beginning of this study of this treatise I mentioned my old companion which I'm not in a loss that I lost him as a, as a friend no, no loss there it doesn't affect me, but it's, it's shameful. However, he separated the ties and I gave him this ayat. I remember when we were talking, I didn't mention the exact ayat maybe, uh, uh, from memorization, but I gave him the general meaning of, of the ayat. And he agreed, of course, that the ayat is the ayat, but then what did he say? He said, but that's battle. You know, as if my istinbat was incorrect. Well, what is Imam bin Baz? And what is Sheikh Jazm? And what are uh, Imma saying? No, that's not battle. That lean and rift is the asl. And especially dealing between Ahlul Sunnah. Especially dealing between Salafi scholars and Salafi du'at. You're on the same minhaj and so forth. They have even more right to be gentle with him. So it shows you that sometimes people out of arrogance to the truth or ignorance even if he's a student of knowledge or supposed to be a student of knowledge that out of their ignorance and their arrogance they may reject the truth that is the danger of arrogance and we talked about that prior to this sitting uh, in, 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 in another uh, yesterday when I was out uh, and we, we, we spoke about uh, the, the, the dangers of, of arrogance with regards to ibadah that's likewise with El that if you are arrogant if you don't know, it's better to be, be silent. Or if you, you know, but you may not know the evidence, sometimes it's better to be silent. Or you could say, in general, I know this, but I, I can't think of the exact evidence. Instead of just letting your hawa take care of, take over, overtake you, and you say, la, that's mumaya. Here's the delil, ahi. No, that's mumaya, the way you're, you're, you're using that. A'udhu billah. Where's the humility? That's from arrogance. That's from ta'asa, from blind following. SubhanAllah, this particular individual, supposed to be a talib al alb he knows Arabic. He studied with Imam Mukbil. He studied with Imam Mukbil. He was up in the village till the Imam died. Then he left. He was there for about four years. Is that what you benefited? After that much time with the Imam? 
then you come out and you're making people to Asim and his beef with me was about a particular sheikh and the position of our brothers from the Maktaba. So he's he's following, here's a man who's studying with the Imam book, but he's blind following Salafi publications. What happened? What happened that you would go from here to there? Not taken away from the brothers, but they are not ulama. The ulama's, the ulama that they refer to. Why don't you take from the ulama instead of taking from the the du'at and the others? And then blind following them at that instead of looking into masail almiyyin with knowledge. I want to impart this tarbiyah to you. Please, research issues. Don't speak. Don't just say the ulama said. How many times have I come under heat for Sheikh Ibrahim Rahili? And I don't care, but I just want to make this beautiful example because it's common, it always comes. Uh, Akhi, the ulama said about what ulama, Sheikh? What ulama? Yes, Sheikh Obeid. Yes, Sheikh. Uh, 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 other Mashaikh. But did you look at their evidence? And when you say the Mashaikh, what about all those Mashaikh that, that don't agree with that? What about Sheikh Salih Suhaimi, Sheikh Abdul Masin al Abad, Sheikh, 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 the, the Mufti? What about Sheikh uh, Salih, uh, Salih Ali Sheikh? How many? Kathir. But you're going to tell me that, uh, so Sheikh Mohammed bin Hadi said this, so I need to take it? We can't accept it. We don't accept that anymore. That was when we were younger and when we didn't have <laughs> anything to fall back on. Now we have a little bit of knowledge, so we know that we need to follow the haq and the knowledge. Always follow the haq. That's what you're ordered to do. Then he said, and the Prophet ﷺ was like this in the beginning of his da'wah. He said, indeed softness is in, uh, indeed softness is not in something except it beautifies it. it. Listen to this hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. Again, indeed softness is not in something except it beautifies it. And it is not removed from something except it ruins it. He وسلم, said, indeed Allah, is, uh, indeed Allah loves softness. He gives for softness what he doesn't give for roughness, and he doesn't give to what is like softness. SubhanAllah, look at these ahadith of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, showing us the importance of softness, gentleness, rifwaleen. You gain much more. Is this Mumayyir? Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, indeed softness is not in something except it beautifies it. Meaning that that asl that we're talking about is only going to beautify the issue. If I say to someone, if I say, Akhi, what you said in a gentle way and I, you know, it, it, it's, it's like this from what I've studied, da 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 da, you know, and I present the evidence. Maybe we can, maybe I learned something from him. But if nothing else, he will be more likely to, you know what, Akhi, Jazakallah Khair, what you said was correct. But if I say, Wallahi, Akhi, and uh, you, you made this mistake. And I'm going to warn you against you if you don't correct it. I'm giving you 20 minutes. And then you're gonna, your name's going to be on the website. We've got 20 videos. We're going to cut and paste all your speech. Say you're with the Nation of Islam. Say you're with this. Say you're this. It's done. SubhanAllah. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. The Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is with lean wa rifq. Da'wah da to ah the Sunnah. Then he said, also the Sheikh used to see softness more than harshness in when, uh, when calling to Allah and refuting the mistaken. Specifically in this time that the Sheikh called the time of gentleness and not the time of harshness. This is because of widespread ignorance and the distance many people, noblemen and rulers from the legislation and the religion. SubhanAllah, Allahu Akbar. Look at this Imam Bin Baz, how he dealt with the mistakes of people and he believed that it was a time more so for gentleness and you can see that that's not shouldn't be a mystery that should be a mystery for those of us who came to Islam I personally would have never come to Islam except for the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if someone had come to me harsh and stepped to me and said hey your dreads the first thing they say to me what about your dreads man because I used to have dreads on my on my shoulders I, they used to be right here. I used to love my dreads, like the lion's mane. What if they would have came to me, you know, you need to come to Islam, cut those dreadlocks. You need, uh, uh, you know, or even for five years, people were afraid to tell me. And I, I know this from my brothers until some of the indigenous brothers told me, you know, you should, you know, cut your dreads. 
And I still was not eager. I didn't cut him until I felt like. Because that's the nature of some of the people. Is they're not going to do it until they do it. So you have to, you, you, you're gentle. You're constant. Doesn't mean you're quiet if something is false. But you want to approach them gentle. With kindness. And lean with rift. To call them to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the sunnah, the message of Allah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.